Hello friends, welcome to Data Pandit. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, KW story one more time because there are two uh, major announcements happen and uh, with respect to the uh, AWS S3 and also AWS uh, EFS, object storage and file storage. Okay. So what announcement uh, happened is, uh, so in S3 there was an intelligent theory or was there, right? If you do not understand about intelligent tiering, we can talk about it. And uh, infrequent access. So these are the two terminologies we are, terminologies we are going to uh, discuss here. So what intelligent tiering means is, depending upon the usage pattern, uh, AWS you know, moves the object from one location to another. So if you look at this uh, picture in, uh, this diagram. So this is the AWS S3 storage, you know, and uh, it monitors the access pattern of a particular object. And if that, uh, you know, it is a less frequently, you know, used that object, then it is going to move the subject to the another location, which is called infrequent access tier. And if it is not used, uh, you know, for 90 days, it's not getting used access, you know, then it is going to be moved into archive access tier. And then, if further, if we are not using you know, three months, sorry, uh, six months, if any particular object is not getting used, accessed by someone. So how we access the object is AWS Management Console, AWS PLI, AWS SDK, I mean APIs, you know. So these are the three or four ways by uh, means we are, you know, access the S3 object. So. If, uh, if a particular object is not getting uh, access, then AWS automatically moves that object to the these locations. So, what is the uh, what is the uh, you know advantage of this these locations is one is because the uh, objects are you know uh, objects are uh, there would be less object to manage by the AWS in you know frequent access tier. So, the efficiency and the performance is going to be increased. So for the you know frequently accessed object, and also there would be a cost effective uh, for the customer. So there will be less charges in the you know these deep archive. There will be lowest charges for a particular object for a particular time is in the deep archive. There would be a little more in archive and archive access tier, and there will be more in in frequent access tier. And whichever object is uh, you know getting used in frequent frequently accessed. There is, you know, kind of more charges, you know, for a particular object if we're talking about. So this is a data access pattern. They are the AWS is going to monitor. So it has been monitored in AWS S3 uh, from uh, from the beginning. Now what they have extended this uh, uh, this facility or this uh, you know concept to the EFS storage file system storage. So similarly, uh, so we have you know S3. Uh, so, in similarly, in EFS also, uh, you know, elastic file storage. In that also, they are going to, you know, have a tiering mechanism, you know, for the infrequent access, uh, whatever file system is getting, you know, not accessed by, by uh, you know, users. So, they are going to move into the another tier location, okay, in IA, IA location, okay, infrequent access tier. So, earlier, there was no this such kind of facility. So there were two types of uh, EFS were there, EFS standard and EFS one job. So what is the EFS standard is? It is, um, so let's say we are creating uh, any, you know, AWS file system for um, in the region of Mumbai region, then there will be three availability zone. So there will be, they, there will be three replicas of that particular, you know, EFS um, storage, file storage, or they can be accessed by from the three. And uh, so while creating the EFS, they, they provide the options to use EFS standard or EFS one zone. If you are creating a one zone, then that EFS is going to be created in only one zone. Okay. So this is about EFS. So they have extended this, uh, you know, uh, intelligent tiering uh, concept into the EFS uh, infrequent access storage. Okay. So, so the depending upon the usage pattern, the EFS standard is going to be moved into EFS standard in frequent access zone, and EFS one zone is going to be moved into EFS one zone in frequent access. So these two tier they have created. Okay. So there are no uh, you know uh, 
many tiers as we have in S3, but they have created one uh, you know, tier which is you know, in called as infrequent access. And also there is one more announcement with respect to the S3 small small objects. So earlier there was there was no you know tiering for small objects uh, for, for S3 locations. Okay. So a small object in the sense of the object which are less than or equal to 120 kil kilobytes. Okay. So now what they have done is uh, they could be moved freely uh, in the tiering zones. Okay. So whichever depending upon the you know frequency of the access, they can move freely. From one location to another. Earlier there was a post, always post equal to the frequent access tier post, okay, for those small objects. Okay, now they have done this change, okay, going forward. So if you want to create uh, the EFS storage with the tiering, so they have, you know, they have given the documentation also. So this is my AWS management console and you can go to the, you can type EFS here. So let me type EFS, click on EFS. So they are going to be provided the console, uh, you know, uh, complete. Uh, so I think uh, I'm logged out. Uh, so let me log in again. So if I Type EFS, I'm already there in EFS. Okay. So this this is you know uh, dashboard would be there for EFS. So they have Amazon you know Elastic File System. So we were already talked about in one of the video how we what is the you know architecture of the Amazon Elastic File System and how it is you know you know scalable and elasticity scalability and you know availability and personal data. Persistence is persistence is you know happening in, in AWS EFS. Okay, so with that, uh, thank you so much. So if you uh, sorry, if you try to create file system, go to this file system. And there will be two options. So there will be a, a small wizard. So you can you know specify regional or standard or one zone. Otherwise, you can go to you know click on customize and you will have extended wizard for for creating the uh, Amazon EFS. Okay. So yeah, with that, uh, so so this uh, this navigation uh, and creation and the mounting of this file system to to to, to the respective you know uh, EC2 machines, I have already discussed uh, in my prior uh, video. Okay, so you probably go and see there, or maybe I am going to provide the uh, the link for those videos in, in this particular video in the description section. So thank you so much.